what's up guys lula chris fitness in today's video i want to take you through four simple variations a beginner can use to master a plank a plank is basically a very simple exercise uh, which can help us strengthen the core not only the core but also the back the shoulders and it's a very very important exercise when it comes to cutting off that huge belly fat i want you to enjoy the video stay tuned Our first plank was the forearm plank. To do a plank, you need to go down on ground on your forearms. Your elbows should be direct under your shoulders. Keep a straight line from your neck to the palm. Maintain the right technique. Try and tighten the core or the stomach together with the palm. If you can stay in there for a minute or two, that would be so amazing. Like I said, try and maintain a straight spine. Maintain your back straight. Um, some of the common mistakes people usually do as they are doing this forearm plank is to sink in their back or not to tighten the stomach. Maintain a tight stomach and don't sink in your back because it will not engage the stomach muscles. As a beginner, once you master the forearm plank, now you can move on to the next plank. Uh, with this next plank, you just need to lift your knees up, uh, maintain the same, uh, same straight line, maintain your back straight. The elbows should be below the shoulders, still on your forearms, elbows under the shoulder. Maintain a straight spine. The energy should be kept within your toes. Try and engage your stomach muscles because that is the main muscle group we are trying to work out. Some of the common mistakes you will see people doing um, is to lift the bum up. Don't lift your bum up. Maintain it tight, straight in line together with the back and the neck master the forearm plank now you can get onto the next plank which is called the straight arm plank with a straight arm plank um, of course you maintain the same form and technique um, stand onto your knees the shoulders should be direct under your wrist um, endeavor to keep your spine straight maintain that straight line that straight line from the neck onto your bum keep your stomach tight your bum Keep it tight all the time. You can stay in there for 30 seconds, one minute, or probably two minutes. That would be also amazing. Like I've been saying, uh, don't make a mistake of lifting your bum up. Uh, don't make a mistake of sinking in your back because that would not be engaging your stomach muscles. Once you've mastered the previous plank, now we can move on to the next plank. Um, actually, this is what we call a full plank. This is where we execute the push-up. That is the position where we execute the push-up. Energy in the core or the stomach, energy in the toes. Maintain that straight line. Same technique, same form. Keep your bum tight. Keep the stomach tight. If you can stay in that position for 30 seconds, one minute, or probably two minutes, that would be so good. Um, there is a, a, a big mistake people usually do as they are doing this full plank. Uh, people usually lift their bums. Don't do it. Don't lift your bum. To maintain that straight line, you've got to keep that bum straight and tight together with the stomach. That's what will give you that perfect straight line. Don't sink in your back. Don't face in front. Don't face in the sides. So guys, those are the simple plank variations you can do either in your office or even at your home. I encourage you to click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and don't forget to leave a comment below the video if you find this video helpful. See you in the next video.